Right, so welcome back to Retro Tuesday, and as uh, I already said, we're taking a bit of a break from Polar Radiance because the 486 is currently not booting. I need to figure out why, and I'd rather tr find out that first before I go back to the Mister. Um, so we're going to get a bit of a break, and I'm going to look through uh, the Wonder Swan. Uh, I just put on the music for Ease, is it? Um, which should be on here. Um, but I'm just going to do what I usually do when I go to stuff like this, and I'm just going to go through the entire list. Because uh, I, I think I've got all the ROMs for the Wonder Swan. So I've got Wonder Swan and Wonder Swan Colour there. This one's not working, so we're going to go through the Wonder Swan first. And then um, I've got Colour and Original. So I've got all these games to go through. That's going to take a, a, quite a few streams. Let's see if I've got years. No, I don't. That's interesting. Hmm. All right then. And if I find it, I'll put it on. All right. Let's start with the first one then. I do not know how to free bar. I know that's yes, and that's probably no. Or I don't know if I'm going to be able to um, play any of, any of this. Um, I'm just going to say no and see what it says. Tyson. That's um Confu Fu Re something. Continue, that's probably I would argue. But oh, we've not started. Is that new game? There we go. Finding the right button is always good. Don't know what's going on, so <laughs> this is gonna be fun. So possibly a strategy game like um something Kaku she something re suto let's continue Continue, then it looks more like in options. Okay, so this looks like a fire. Uh 
hell? You know, sometimes when you can work stuff out, you're like, yeah, sure, go with that. This one, I have no idea. <laughs> Is this a computer player coming in? Because I'm not doing anything at the moment. So the computer player through a triangle. in a minute because I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. Okay, so that didn't do that. So I think I've got three goes to do something. Something about drawing triangles from this point here. I start for water. Yeah, I'm just trying to work out the games, especially when they were in Japanese and it's not one of the ones that's easy to work out what how to play it. Okay, so his triangle is stayed there. Maybe what I should be doing. Uh, was it what launched in the west? I'm not sure if it was. Just give me a sec, I'll have a look in a minute. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so I've done something, I think. Hey, let me have a look. Wonder Swan. Right, okay. Release date in Japan. Yeah, this looks like a Japan only thing. Because there's only release dates in Japan. So you've got the Wonder Swan standard, which was March 1999. Then the color came in 2000. And then there was something called the Swan Crystal in 2002. Put us in chat. There you go. Discontinued 2003. Uh, it's a ROM cartridge. It's got an NEC um, CPU in it. 64k oh, of RAM for memory. It was powered by one AA battery. Uh, 40 hours in a Wonder Swan and 40 hours. Uh, 20 hours, sorry, on the Wonder Swan 2. Uh, Pixel, get off. She's trying to read stuff, and the, the um, cat's sitting on my um, space bar. Uh, 20 hours for the Wonder Swan color. Um, doesn't really give you much more than that. I'll keep the, the um, website up anyway, just for... And um, this one, I'm probably going to skip this game, because this game, I have no idea what I'm doing. Right, next one is Armoured Units. Will it be difficult to understand Japanese games? Um, I don't know. I can read very little. Um, sometimes you can find that it's easy to work out. I think it just depends on the game. Oh, you can get stuff like this, which is in uh, English text, which is similar in, in uh, Saturn stuff, but doesn't doesn't come like that all the time. Let's see what story mode gives. Oh, night player. Sonar gun, Vulcans, rail gun. Still guy. Excuse me. Oh, I'm, I'm assuming I just gotta select particular ones, perhaps. Start with that one. Oh, is this? I was hoping it was going to be a three D style. Yeah, so this is the original version and it's all 
monochromatic. There was a color version, but that didn't come in until uh, a year later. a bit easy ish to play with uh, yeah so all of these ones are going to be monochrome um, I'm going to move on to the color you'll get to see that later that's probably not going to be for a few streams right so this area is the only area that I can go in Oh, there's something at the top, I think. Looks like I just hit, uh, move around the areas and see if you can. Maybe you need to sew now a bit more. Bastard disappeared. Bottom bit on the left hand side says command. Oh, fuck, missed that one because it's too busy talking. Give it a wait. So it's a bit like um, Battleship, I'd say. I don't understand the rest of this, though. I really need to get back into the Japanese at some point. Tune ups. Okay, what have we got? Tune up points 23, I think that is. Oh, 
Oh no. Huh? Uh huh. Do not show. Sure. No space. Alright, so that takes 10 points. But this doesn't tell me how many points this is. Not enough, I don't think that's enough to have points. Okay. Alright, let's try that. So we're doing stage one, stage two, let's see what we got. Make sure that my voice levels are fine, yep. Cool. Okay. Something went a bit wrong there. the panel. Wow. So I have to keep moving, I think. It's an interesting one. Alright, nice sort of mech kind of uh, battle battleship type thing. What's the next one we've got? Bakuso um Dekutora Densetsu, is it? You know, cat sleeping where my keyboard is is uh, annoying. Back slow. Oops. Right, having to stand over my cat just to type stuff in. What a surprise. Is this a dating game? Kumi I think that's a name Sentaku? Uh, I have no idea what I'm telling you. This is a bad thing. <laughs> um, can she something? Not sure. 
Let's go with this one. Yeah, this one's this one's definitely not gonna be one that I can't can't see you on with. Cause I have no idea what it is. Beat Mania for Wonder Swan. This could be interesting. Can I change the orientation? There we go. Nothing's happening. Wonder whether I need it to be in two player mode, maybe. Check. I've got the right, uh, right, left, down, up, A, B. Oh, this is the other control, isn't it? Try to use the upper um, control thing. Push scratch. So that's the fast forward the button. Something about timing I think it's telling me off for. As I can see the symbol for um, time I think down there. Trying to get me to get the right one. What's the left? Is it left one? Is this one? I think it's just going to keep giving me. No, I don't understand this. It says push and it says scratch, but I can't see why it would. It's like getting to say your loads, but that's about it. No, okay, fair enough, move on. Ah. 
Okay. Um, control. Oh, that's why the controls aren't working. <laughs> because I forgot I had the analog bit in. I worry why I couldn't play Beat Meanie before. Some sort of weird, really weird race game. I don't know why I keep changing, I'm assuming it might be to do with the fact that I'm not doing well in health, possibly?
Uh, okay. So we've got some other parts. No items, as far as I'm aware. Well, I'm stuck now. Oh, okay, cool. And just use jumping down, yeah. Well, I gotta say, it's very Game Boy like, and I'm assuming that was the point. And, um, it's got some nice music to it.
their technique that time, but I'm not quite sure what I'm doing anyway. <laughs> um, I'll do... There's a lot more courses, actually. Let's do this last course. Oops. Yeah, I think you're not supposed to temp take too much damage on this. Because this is what was happening with the first uh, character. I am just working this out. I'm assuming I was supposed to get that because I've seen it a few times. Let's see if this changes the ending.
I do have a dash item, possibly. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I've got... I picked it up when other people have got it as well. Hmm, don't know. That's a weird one. It's a nice one, but it's a weird one. I suppose that'd help if I knew how to play it, but you know. <laughs> uh, Card Captor Sakura. Fourth of April. Fourth of April, and I don't know why. Unless, oh, unless it talk about Sakura itself. So you fourth year of something. It's going to be uh, text heavy. I recognize that person. I say that person, that thing there. for this. I suppose it's basically just um, Hard Captor was the um, competitor to Digimon and Pokemon and all that sort of stuff. <sighs> Trying to see if we can get to get some action bits. No idea. I'm not seem to be getting anywhere with this. Let's try um, Beat Mania again for a second. See if now that I've got the controls working, it'll actually do something. Oh, so it is working now. It's not the crap. 
cracked one. down so left is on the left hand side so maybe this one's right no let's dot that on one of the buttons maybe Scratch option, isn't it? Hang on a minute. It's on the second one, is it? Alright, I don't know. Fair enough, it was worth another shot. Right, let's have a look at this chaos gear. So that was putting your name in. Please can fast forward through some of this. <laughs> Sorry, just getting through on this because I can't skip it any other way. There's a lot of text here. Right. So 
Let's so can pick a starting point maybe. So I'm assuming three different enemies are moving. Yep, I don't know what I'm doing here. I must have, what I thought originally was something moved over and it just didn't actually show the um, whatever it is that moved over, but it doesn't seem to be the case. I think that's like end turn. Um, like data or something. Do anything here. So the only thing I can click is this one. But I got no options here or here. No, I don't get this one. Fair enough. Looks nice though. Right, Chocobo no Fushi and... Chocobo no Fushigi. Apologies for bastardizing the titles. Uh, 
Atara Shiku. No, don't know that. Just have to. Um, is there supposed to be no titles? I don't see any text. So I'm assuming it's teaching me to pick up items and, and money. Because I did see the money, uh, the Japanese kanji for money on that. about running.
Oh, can I play in there? Yes. Right, left, up and down. Can't get in here. No, I've got no idea what I'm doing here either. <laughs> it looks interesting, it's just uh, a lot of talking and obviously when I only understand very little of it, it gets very, um, trying to pick out what might be being said. It's probably going to happen a lot and if it happens too much to there, I can come back to this at a later date. I mean, I've at least I've had a look at it anyway. Right, let's move on. Um... Start, isn't it? Um, Jokey Kando Whammy Brew. Toji Ru. Name That's time.
A lot of different strong men around. Okay, so I can't come out here. Right, this is a bit text heavy for me. Fair enough. Uh, car battle. Clock tower. Gotta try that one. Now, I've played Clock Tower on the SNES, so it'll be interesting to see what the Wonder Swan version is. Oh, we got some English text from here. That's the only two English text we're getting. <laughs> so this is um, ninth month, September. I wonder if this is a remake of the first one from this uh, from the snares. That's what I know that one. That's asking what what what. Matashi was so I something something. Five times. Maybe they've been lost five times, possibly. Or go around the circle five times, maybe. And see something. Yeah, it's a remake of the um, of the SNES version. I say remake; it just could be a port. To be fair. That goes too quick, even if I could read it. All right, so this moves around. I think I'll talk to this lot first before you do anything. Oh, I played this. I played. I played the Stairs version. Um, I think it was last year. Was it the Stairs version? Sure, it was the Stairs version. Because I know um, the. 
characters doesn't start chasing you. In fact, I don't have to go this way or hear a scream. I couldn't fully work it out when I played it uh, back then, but it was an interesting uh, little horror game by the looks of things. Is that, oh, there was a door there. I thought there was. Is it just because it's closed? Oh, we can get up here. No, can you not get up there. Maybe not right now. Seem to get through the door. I think I need to talk to the girls a bit more. Seen a lot to see, and I see something. The guy saying no, it's a set. I think it's a girl, to be honest. I think it's an all girl school. It's just the way this is drawn, so it doesn't look obvious. And I think the um, there we go. I think the uh, the the way they've drawn this isn't as big as the um. There we go. The screen. Girls are gone. Yeah, I think this is a bit more zoomed in than the SNES version. Yeah, definitely. Definitely huge doors. Now, which way do I go? Nothing there. I 
think it, the stairs game was as quiet as this. So all you heard was the footsteps. Ooh. Okay. Right, shall I skip this door? You can't hear it. It is a bit low on mine. Try that. Try this door. Uh oh. Yeah, it's just the steps. Now, in the stairs version, you saw a lot more detail. The question is. Is this so? There are two ways you could see this room in the SNES version. Uh, I can't remember if the curtains are open in one instance, in the other one, the, this is closed. You can see uh, steam all the way through, and it's, it's kind of like that kind of um, it's done pretty well anyway. There's like a sink over here. I think. No, no sink. And I open the. Okay, can't open that. I don't remember how I got to the point where this was full of steam. I thought it was random. I know this bathroom is easy to get caught. I was trying to, um, Trying to get a cutscene to play in there. So I'm sure if you go in a particular direction, it will just do. Um, it will play an event. Yeah, we've got to go this way first. I think this is the only portable version of this game. It's done pretty well. Is it saying I see you? See if that triggers this. Keep too bad you can't see your health since there's no face here. Nope. Oh wait a minute. Oh 
that we're going to get one. think yeah uh, here we go the creepy motherfuckers out. <laughs> Damn it, what's it goes through a dark door, but never mind. Shit, he's behind me. Run, bitch. Run, bitch. For fuck's sake. <sighs> Dead end. Didn't really give him much time. But it's nice to see this on a panned help, at least, anyway, so. Yeah, a bit slow, but uh, it's not too bad. I'm not going to spend too much time on that because I'd rather play this, uh, this, the SNES version. Uh, crazy Climber, let's see what this is. I'm hoping it might be Nebulous, possibly. Oh, it's not. Okay. Arcade mode. Why are you not letting me do arcade mode? There we go. Oh, I'm using the wrong... Oh, so the wonder spawn has two uh, controls. It's using one and then a second one. So I've got the controls maps to the um, the uh, the second set of controls mapped to the um, the shoulder buttons. Okay. Sorry, it seems to be Darren up. Oh, 
Again, I couldn't use the controls, it's kind of weird. Because going left and right isn't simple, it's just going left. Why is the controls kind of weird now? Okay, that's strange. I can't seem to get any further than that. No. Kind of weird. Problem is, is going left and right, it lets you kind of do it once and then that's it. It just doesn't let you do it again. Oh, you gotta hold down left and then do the right, okay. So it is a combination between both of oh shit. No. Damn it. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going on these, which is like the upper 
control point uh control pad is um i think we're doing down up down up down up to go up and then it's uh to go left and right i think you hold down for the top ones which i've got as left and right and you kind of use the this d-pad to go left and right um kind of a weird system Yeah, I can't get to the left now. I had it yesterday. There we go. I guess the window's closing. Yeah. Gotta hold down the sh uh, the shift keys. Just it's not easy to remember. a stroke of luck. This one won't be. Jesus. That was lucky. No. Shit. Nope, and that's it. Nope. Come on. Second one in. There we go. I think need to have both hands up to... Ah. Yeah. 
Hell. King Kong. Right, let's try the, uh, if we can, let's try the, um, Wonder Swan mode. Too slow. There's now a turtle. No. Not a chance. Well, that's, uh, that's, that's uh, what was it called? Crazy Climber. It was a nice game. Very kind of weird to put together with the controls. You know what? I'm actually going to show off the... Um, Because I usually do this, I will show the system image. There we go.
Oi, get off the... I was wondering why the image is going everywhere. Silly cat was laying on the cable. Right, there we go. That's the one to spawn. So, like I was saying, um, don't know if you're going to be able to see me. Um, no, you're not going to. So the top, I'm guessing the top um, arrows is the one that I've done here. And then the bottom arrows is the one that I've got here, which is the D-pad there. Um, so playing this game is basically playing it with those two, but I wonder whether you can actually change the orientation of the um, of the system. It might make it a bit easier. Right, let's go. So I've got D's carriage twenty one. Yep, two D pads. And the last game that I played seemed to use uh, both of them. Let's turn this down a bit. This game feels very French. I think it's the art style that makes me think that way. The music is a bit kind of... Sec. Just update the game name. What was it? D's Garage or something. Don't put your pet on there, please. Where is it? Tanny. Probably is more close to what the game is. Okay, some puzzle with. Oh, I see. But it directly drops to the flower or the stem of the bomb. Of course there's bad games on a swan console. <laughs>
Meet the flower before the sun run out. I think that's correct. And the stale is eating the drops of water, just to make this a bit more difficult. Do two of them now.
Oh, because of the... I didn't realise that the thing at the bottom was eating it. Right, okay. Oh, that was a simple enough game. Uh, really nice graphics. I did like the kind of French look to it. Because that feels very French and it sounds very French. But it's, uh, it's, an int it's a nice little game. Right. Uh, we're going to play one more before I finish today. Because... Um, Yeah, let's do Danger to Go as the last one. Good old train simulator. Danger to Go! Uh, Danger to Go, yeah. There we go, just double check that. Yep. There we go. Deja de go! See while I do this. You know, I just total a train. Okay. For the fallen! Oh, we got a raid. Bit of grey from Pingy. Let's wait till everybody pops in. Hello there, Nat Graham. Thank you for the raid there, Pingy. Just in case you didn't sit here before, because I'm not. I'm not sure if you guys get hit with a um, with a um. Advert, you might not do, but I can't remember because I have to, I've turned it off, but it doesn't mean to say that. Uh... There we go. Oh, I didn't let go of the jump button. Thomas. Thomas usually has no sound. Okay, show it there for Pinky. Um, didn't come up. Okay, I'm just checking because I'm never sure with with Twitch, especially because I'm used to kind of YouTube going. Oh, you can't monetize this, but we're going to monetize it anyway. It's just like whatever. Um, so I'm looking at the Wonder Swan today because I'm having a bit of a break from Pool of Radiance and the fact that the 486 is on the blink, it's not actually showing up. So I kind of really want to have a look at it and I thought, well, I've played Pool of Radiance for six months now. And we've got quite far in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it down for a little bit. I'm going to look at, um, I'm going to have a bit of a break, look at um, this particular handheld, which is the Wonder Swan. See if I can play some games on it, even though some of the games are Japanese, but sometimes you can work it out what's going on. And we've we've seen that with a couple of games today. Um some of the games like um Card Captor, which has got so much text on. Um and I read 0.001% Japanese, so I, I'm not really sure what's going on. Um I can pick out certain things, but Anyway, last game of, uh, today we're playing is Densha to Go. Uh, I'm going to see if I can work this out on uh, that little handheld there. So, uh, I've tried a couple of things. I 
I'm assuming that thing on the right side is me going. Because that sounds like, um... Something about time. Time out. Okay, I've made the horn go. It says E, but I'm not quite sure what that is. Yeah, I'm not working this out properly. <laughs> you don't really have much in the way of uh, controls on this. Well, you do. You can see it on there, but... I think that's just be um, quitting. What's the option? This kind of games are hard. Yeah, it's even harder when you're trying to work out what the hell to press just doesn't want to know I mean it looks nice but try this again No, time out, never mind. Fair enough, I thought this might be a fun one to end on, and it's just a fun one to see me fail on, really. Um, see if I can see anything that I recognise. Gumpy, I recognise for some reason. Oh no, maybe it's the name of Gumpy, you're Koi. Um try load when I finish on that one because I should be able to play this. I've heard this music before. Hello there, geeky chappy. Why have I heard this music? It's an 80s music track, isn't it? Isn't it Beverly Hills Cop? Yeah, Pocky Fighter on it. Yeah, we've played a couple of games on this, and um, there's some interesting ones. Wait, um, what's this? This is Load Runner. There we go. Keep that updated. Right, so I need to find the exits. We played this game earlier, um, there was this kind of, ooh, got a spacesuit now, um, sort of a cross between, give me a moment, um, battleship and 
some mech type gain. Oh, what? You should have gone down that hole. Why have you gone from having a... Oh, you got an astronaut suit on again. Yeah, it didn't seem too hard to work out. It was basically moving around a map and it was kind of like Battleship in a way because some of the robots were not on screen all the time. You kind of had to sort of work out where they were. So you've got scanners and um, you've got some sort of weapon. Uh, you can pick between which robot you wanted. Um, that's what I got from it anyway. Mission 3, never played that. Give me a second, let me just have a look. The other thing we've played on this, which was quite impressive for what it was, is um, Clock Tower. Uh, that was... It was the nicest port. Um, sort of. I'll tell you what, what I'll do is I'll play a couple of games of this and then I will show you what the other game was. It's, uh, it's an interesting system. Uh, the Crazy Climber was another one I played in this. It's like an arcade port. And that was a really nice port. Right, got you this time. What does this do? Take a look at how smooth the pocket fire is on it. Okay, we'll do. That's not going to be a good place to be. stupid buggered myself A and B restart
This is gonna be difficult. Dead. Cool. Right. Now I can get on with doing this. There we go. Right, that one, that one. It's not gonna work, is it? This one. Oh, shit. No, that was dumb. Almost had that one then. I don't understand the significance of having um, the spacesuit not being worn. Feels a bit kind of weird. faster without it, okay. I will stop getting the right rumb on. There we go. for a while. Oh, thank God for that. Right, next one, last one for now. Because I don't think we're going to go up past this. Two of them. And floors to disappear.
Oops. Right, so for me, I shall see you later now. Later here, no problem. Thanks for popping in, Mitch. Right, I did say I was going to have a look at... Um, so, Mitch suggested... Is it Pocket Fire? See if I can work this out. I think I played this on a PS1 actually. Or something similar. Or oh, maybe not. So I was thinking, um, I was thinking, um, what's the one with the jewels? Wow, I'm getting owned. Some of the jewels. Nope. It's it, oh, is that puzzle fighter? I think that's one of what I'm thinking of. <sighs> I'm never good at these games. Hey, it looks nice. Don't ask me how I'm pulling these moves off, I'm just bottom bashing. I sort of know something about half circle and fire, so I did see that I did some. Um, Fireballs. I know I've done the, um, the kick, but again, I'm just whacking my uh, thumb around and kind of seeing what happens.
and I completely winged it. This is where I get my comeuppance soon, especially after the last fight. I seem weirdly to got the hang of this, he says. <laughs> Wait till the next round. I was wondering if I was going to lose that then.
<laughs> sure. That was a kind of whatever move. Oh, okay. I just seem to kind of, I think the whole point is you pick up all the, the bonuses, max out and then just bottom bash the hell out of the uh, opponent. Seems to be working so far. Two left? No, three. This is difficult. That's my first knockout in this particular round. Thank you. 
Ooh, got him back. Need it. Who's next? Character I don't recognise, but I don't play Streets uh Street Fights too much. I've seen them. So I recognise what the uh, the face says, but name and character now. I think I recognise most of the old school um, characters. Oh. This particular one wasn't too bad. Cammy? No, okay. Completely a different character, sorry. <laughs> if I offended anyone. Oh. Bit of fight in this one.
there anybody else after this? No, there we go. I've actually done a game. What a surprise. Uh, so thank you to Mitch for the suggestion of this one. This was it's a uh, nice and quick one to play, I think. Um, no perfect. I'm not a one-on-one -on -one guy, but uh, you know, I don't think it was too bad. Right, what are we on? 247s. Oh. Thank you for the follow there, Pack Rat VJ. Uh, good game, yeah, certainly was. Okay, um, I will quickly show the uh, game I was showing the other day. Uh, sorry, what am I talking about? The one that I played earlier. I think it was this one. Alright, so I went to story mode and I put, chose this one. It's got a bit of... So you can see this interface here, if I go left and right I can change to Sonar Vulcan which is my guns and Stun G which is some sort of... Um, I can't remember what it is. So if I press fire and then move I can just basically do this. Now, this is what I don't understand about this. If I do sonar here, and do anything. If I do this. Okay, I can see something on my radar. Shit. I don't understand why I'm being exploded here and there. But I do know you've got to get rid of most of the um, enemies in here. Okay, I want to battle and this is this is why I, I describe it as kind of like a uh, battleship. Because it feels very um very much like that. And then this part I couldn't work out. Um, I could increase my hit points and engine, but the um, the number of points for equipment I just couldn't. So I have a left or right, and then the other one doesn't work, and I just get told no. I think. This one I died because I kept getting blown up by something. Oh. 
And something's attacking me, but I can't see how to. There we go, and I'm gonna die. Yeah, lost a battle, and that's exactly what happened last time. But I mean, this looks really fun and interesting. I really need to dig out what to do on this. Maybe have another go at some point. Um, so with this, I've got quite a lot of games. Played this one, this one. This one, this one didn't kind of work, sort of. Uh, but Village Evolution was this weird kind of racing game. Uh, but it was on foot. Didn't get it. Um, these are usual um, card capture Pokemon type games. Uh, this one was felt like a um, Shining Force type game, but I couldn't quite work it out. Uh, this Chocobo game is probably a RPG. Uh, this one I couldn't work out at all. Clock Tower is quite nice. Uh, Crazy Climber was a good um, conversion, but a bit weird what, how the controls worked. Uh, this felt very French, but it was a very simple game, and most of it came in on Denture to go. So that's where I, I was up to. Um, what I can do is I can probably dig out the manuals for most of these and see if I can actually go back through and try and play it again. Because uh, I do want to carry on playing with um, this next month. Uh, not next month, what we're talking about next week. Because uh, I've got quite a lot of games on here. Final Lap could be interesting. Fire Pro Wrestling is always good. Um, yeah, you got loads. It's probably going to take me the next couple of streams to get through them all. So that will be for next week. Okay, so thanks everybody for popping in. Thank you to Pinky for the raid and Pat Rack VG for the follow. Uh, let me just see what I'm doing. Stream ending. Right, so I'm going to be back on Friday for more Sonic CD. I'm not that far away from completing it, so I'm hoping to do it in the next two weeks. Uh, then we've got Sunday with Rex Blade. The Apocalypse, which is a weird first-person shooter where it also has um, educational questions and what else did it have in it? Um, sort of roughly the same things to get to the password. So it's kind of like one of the questions was something like, what's James Kirk's middle name for a password to the library file kind of thing. So there's that on a Sunday. And on Amiga Monday, I do uh, first half is looking at um, cover discs. So we're on cover discs CD7 for Amiga format. And in the second half, I play something long winded. So at the moment, I'm playing uh, On Escape, I think it is. Um, it's a another world style kind of game where you've got a load of trial and error type things to work it out. And it's not been so bad so far. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, right, so let's see who we can raid. Not really thought it came around for a while. Let me just see what he's doing. Something about packing for the festival. Boat fest. Can change this ski course. Like seriously. All right. Okay, fine. He's just testing whatever he's taking to boat fest out up with. So let's go and raid. Forty eight K Ram. There we go. Right. Hopefully see you all soon. You know my schedule. And until next stream, I will see you then. Bye.